Hey peeps, what's up? It's Alicia and I got my Margo Elena box today. Yay! I was supposed to get it yesterday, um, but it didn't come in and I checked the tracking and it said it was going to be here next Tuesday, which I was super disappointed about. Um, but then um, my dog alarm went off and it's here. So I can't wait to open it. And my cat doesn't like French toast sticks. He just really wants attention, apparently. Right now, when we're filming, he is really cute though. His name is Boo. Um, and I don't actually know what kind of cat he is. I think he might be a Siberian forest cat. That's just the best guess. He has a ton of hair in between his toes. Anyway, back to the Margot Lana box. Put my breakfast aside. So it actually feels pretty hefty. Let's see if it has a weight on it. It doesn't. I hate when it doesn't have a weight because I, I don't know. I just like to know. I feel like this is probably around three pounds though. So this is the fall Margot Elena box. I am so excited to open it. I know there's a fragrance in here. And as you know, I am obsessed with fragrance and I'm a fragrance whore. So we will be opening this very shortly as soon as I finish my breakfast and take my little dog alarm for a walk. And then we will be back to open this box. All right, peeps, I am back from my slightly over one mile walk. And oh God, it was hot outside. It's like 80 and I just, <sighs> I didn't do my usual two or three miles because I just wasn't feeling it today. Anyways, I got my box. Yes, it's upside down. Yes. Okay, I already took the liberty of opening the plastic tape. This is the inside of the box. Painted Splendor is the fall 2022 theme. This is a box number 20 here is the info card which i will not look at because i don't i like surprises so i will save this for if we have any questions everything is very nicely packaged securely packaged as per usual. i love how they put these so it says when you open the box that she has arrived then there's a sticker that says the wait is over it's so funny because they know their clients so well like yes i have been waiting i've been waiting a long time for you. let's see here i don't want to open the perfume first but i feel like that's what this is yes it is i can tell it's right on top and there is a little ticket in here with some information on a product so either We'll find out why that's just in there loose. Okay, so this is the perfume, which honestly was the thing that I was looking forward to most because I love it. And I love the Tokyo Milk Darks. Um, I have one from literally forever ago that I still have and somehow is still good. I don't know how. Um, and it's amazing. I love it. And no, I can't remember the name of it. So this one is Tokyo Milk Dark Black Widow, which to me is perfect for the fall because it's super cute as far as like the packaging goes. Um, let's see what it says on it. Nothing. Got that. Okay. Scarlet Sage, Lang Lang, Ylang Ylang, Orange Blossom, and Oak Moss. So I'm kind of expecting it to have like a smoky slash soft floral scent to it. Mm -hmm. Oops, I just sprayed it on my watch. Ooh. Mmm, that smells good. This smells very similar to the Cacharelle fragrance I got that is now packed because we were supposed to be moving that had patchouli patchouli in it and it smelled absolutely divine to me it smells better than this um but this is really nice uh, you can definitely smell the oak moss mm, that's really pretty that's really pretty I'm cons I'm I'm wondering how this will wear throughout the day. It's very pretty. It's not me. I definitely like a strong, like patchouli, intense fragrance. Um, for some, this would probably be very intense. I'm curious to see how this wears down on me, though. It may wear down to a scent that 
I prefer more. Okay, next product. There are a few things in here, which is awesome. I always love opening these boxes. It's such a great value. Okay. I actually really needed body lotion again because I go through it and I had some from Bath and Body Works that I opened and I'm extremely allergic to their products. Okay, so this is Archive 10 ounce body lotion, Journey Within, relaxing notes with green tea and willow. So I really like the packaging of this because it's really um, simple and clean. I like that it's glass as well. That's gonna be nice to recycle. Let's see if we can figure out how to read. It says to turn this way. And every time I do this, I do it wrong. Eh. Literally every time. So either, it says go this way, right? Gosh dang it. Why can't I do things? Okay, so literally I just spent another 10 seconds trying to open this dang thing. Okay, let's try this product. Let's try it. We're going to try it. Let's try it. There. Mmm, <laughs> that smells good. That's nice. Oh, yeah. Okay, we like that. That's nice and subtle. That'll go with a lot of, a lot of things. It's very subtle, which is nice. It's not sticky. Oh yeah, that's very good. Okay, I like that a lot. So that was the Archive Relaxing Body Lotion in Journey Within. Next thing, this one was not in um, tissue paper. By the way, I save all this stuff because if I don't use it and I want to sell it on a place like Mercari, which is often, um, it makes for nice packaging material so you don't have to go out and buy things. All right, this is the Cottage Greenhouse Japanese Plum and White Tea Rich Shea Butter Hand Cream. By the way, their hand creams are amazing. I still have the one from the last box. It is on my desk downstairs. I use it almost every day and it's not even half empty yet. Um, and that's from the last box. So this one, I'm just assuming I'm going to have to pierce the inside to open it. Yep, so I'm gonna have to pierce the inside to open it. Because this is brand new and I already have an open one, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna open this. I know. But you don't need to, you don't need it. Okay, next thing. This has to be the, no, that's not it. Oh, right, this is the cream that they gave the last um, spoiler for. Okay, this is the Tokyo Milk Gin and Rose Water Parfum Crema Delice. This is very cute. I like these containers. They're easy to recycle. They're easy to use. They don't take up a lot of space. They're good for travel. Um, it's two and a half ounces, so it's actually right under the three ounce limit for the airplanes. Um, so this is Gin and Rose Water. I am, again, I am not going to open this. I know I'm the worst. Maybe I'll open it for you guys. Okay, fine, I'll open it for you guys. Goodness gracious. I mean, let's be real, I'm gonna use it. So I actually use this as a body cream. Um, I think it's supposed to be like a alternative to a solid perfume, but I like the body cream. I mean, I like using it as a body cream is what I meant to say. I did put some sunscreen on earlier, so hopefully this doesn't kind of make it smell weird. Let's do it on this side too. It smells really good. Do it on this side too. I love this product. It's so nice. And it doesn't make me itchy, which is great because a lot of things do. Mmm. That smells really good. Did I say it has orange in it? Yes, yeah, citrus zest. Mmm. That's nice. To me, this is more of like a summery smell but it's still really nice. It's still very refreshing. So I like that a lot. That's great. All right, and my little pile of stuff here. There's a lot of stuff in here. We still have a lot, lot more to open. All right, this is the next item. It's tissue paper out of here. Ooh, I don't remember if they gave us a teaser of this one or not, but this 
It has a unicorn on it. I know, I'm five years old, it's fine. If you don't like me, you don't have to watch. All right, follow your dreams, hand poured perfume. Oh, it's a candle. Yes, this is so cute. I love the packaging. I'm obsessed with the glitter. The glitter is adorable. This says, crushed and distilled, are you curious? Follow your dreams. Citrus zest, rosewood, mimosa. Okay, so it's the same. So this says gin and rose water, but it's it's got the same notes. Literally the same exact notes. It's so weird. So this says 12, 12 gin and rose water, citrus zest, rosewood, mimosa, mandarin. This says 21, citrus zest, rosewood, mimosa, and mandarin. So let's see. I'm guessing it smells the same. These make awesome gifts, by the way. Because the packaging's just so cute. My dog's thinking about barking. Don't do it. Oh, come on. What the flippin' heck? Today is the day of I can't open things. Mmm. That smells pretty good. Um, it does not smell as good as the candle, I think that came in the spring box. That smelled absolutely amazing. And of course, when I opened it, I freaking accidentally put the lid into the wax because why not? Anyways, that's so cute. I love that. That'll be good for moving too because I can just throw it, you know, it's already packaged. Next item. I think this is the body oil. There's like a random, what? A, really? a, a random card in here, cucumber and honey dried body oil. So that has to be this. Yeah. I do like their body oils. Um, I usually, what I do is I mix this with lotion because it's so um, powerful that I kind of like try to extend the life of like whatever lotion I'm using at the time. So this is the Cottage Greenhouse Cucumber and Honey Moisture Rich Dry Body Oil. I use... I've used two of theirs before because they sent them in two other packages and they're really nice. They're not sticky. They're not thick. Oh, oh shoot. And cucumber, I think always smells really good. What the heck? <laughs> what, is, what is going on? I'm trying to get some out, but it's just not cooperating today. I don't understand. <laughs> okay, there we go. Finally. Jesus Christ. I put it on my knee because I already have a bunch of other things on the arm areas. Oh, yeah. That smells good. Nice and light. And you know what I was actually thinking is I have this Vaseline lotion that i got it's in a green bottle and um because i'm allergic to the bath and body works one so i had to like basically throw it out this will actually go really well with that because of the cucumber so that's cool that'll help like extend all right there's two more things they always give you these cute little cards so we've got three little cards um we've got a really cute little bear sending you a bear hug we've got a alligator oh snap another birthday and then a big thank you and they're so cute they have these creatures on them and then they have glitter i actually have all the ones they've ever sent i think i may have used one once um not that i don't want to use them or anything i just haven't gotten around to it and i think they come with envelopes if I'm not mistaken, yes, they do. They come with envelopes, which is perfect. Very last thing. So this is Infinite She. I'm guessing this is a lip balm. Yep, lip balm. All natural rose hip and hibiscus lip balm. Again, makes a great gift because it's packaged already nicely in here. Open it up. I'm just going to give it a little whiff. Oh yeah, that smells good. It smells, it smells real good, sweetheart. That's nice. That's a nice, let's use it. 
Mm. Nice. Perfect. I don't think this has SPF in it though, which isn't great. Um, I have this chapstick that I got at a little boutique store in my town called Bitch Sticks and it has SPF in it and it's a cherry scent and it's awesome. I love it. And it's not like a gross SPF that leaves like a, like a film on your lips or anything. Anyways, so that's the box. Let's get our little card out so we can go over all of the wonderful products that we just received. Um, so we got the body lotion, the hand cream, the dry body oil, the lip balm we just tried, the perfume, the uh, solid cream, the candle, it says new on it, so that's a new scent I think to their collection, the new signature uh, stationary cards, and the entire value of the box for retail value, if you were just gonna go on their website and buy it, is $200.50. And as we know, this box is I think around 65 or so with shipping. Um, so to me, really worth the value, especially since you know um, it's really high quality products and I typically run on the more sensitive side and their stuff really seems to be working with my skin and I've had no problems. So that's the Margot Lana fall subscription box. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching my unboxing and remember to be kind to each other. I know it can be hard, but try anyways. Thanks so much and you have a great weekend.